Now, a break in a murder case from 10 years ago. Candace Hiltz was 17 when she was shot to death in her family home near Canyon City. Her killer was never found, and the case went cold until last month when a man found evidence from the crime scene stashed in a storage unit in Canyon City. CBS 4's Andrea Flores is following this story tonight. And, Andrea, what exactly was found in that storage unit? Well, Kathy, Rick Ratzliff discovered a rope, bullet casing, and a hatchet inside the unit. But what he found most disturbing, evidence that it was rented out by an active Fremont County deputy before he bought it. Started pulling out shell casings. A Canyon City man may have cracked an unsolved homicide case in the most unlikely way. Last month, Rick Ratzlaff won a storage unit at an auction. There's a lot of uh, police lights off a cop car in there, and I wanted one. You know, and uh, so I, I kept bidding on it till I got it. But was disturbed by what he found inside. Evidence from the 2006 murder of 17-year-old Candace Hiltz. We spoke to her sister who lives out of state over the phone. I didn't think that it would ever be solved. Mm -hmm. But I really never thought it would be somebody was trying to hide something. When Ratzlaff reached out to law enforcement, he says Fremont County Sheriff James Beaker met him to collect the evidence without the Colorado Bureau of Investigation's involvement. This is odd. This is really You're odd. Rick's wife, Erin Reed, recorded audio of their meeting at the storage unit. What, so there was bloody clothes. There's a sock in there's there. Socks. There's socks in there. But you said there was a shell casing. Where there's a shell casing. There? There's a hatchet. There. There's a rope. Ratzlaff tells us the unit was rented by an active Fremont County deputy prior to being auctioned off. Would you be willing to let us go through it all? Yeah. yeah. With new evidence, Candace's family members hope a break in the case will give them closure they've been praying for. But she definitely didn't deserve that. I mean, she deserves justice. Now, the CBI tells us they are working with the Fremont County Sheriff's Office to investigate how the evidence ended up at an off-site facility. The identity of the deputy who once rented the unit has not been released. Reporting live in Denver, Andrea Flores, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Andrea.